Hello and welcome to Expanding Quadratics with me, Mr. Mark. Now, Expanding Quadratics means that we're going to multiply one bracket by another bracket. Okay? And the way that we have to do this is we have to make sure that everything in this bracket is multiplied by everything in this bracket. So first we're going to take the first term, which is an x, and we're going to multiply it by x. x times by x gives me x squared. Next, x times by 2, and then that will give me positive 2x. Next, let's take the 3 and multiply it by everything in the other bracket. 3 multiplied by x, that is again positive 3x, and then 3 times by 2 will give me 6. Now, we're not quite finished there. We still have one more thing to do. And what that is, is collect the like terms. Because I, I have 2x and I have 3x. I can add those together. And that will give me 5x. Now, I can't add the x squared to it because x squared is a completely different thing from x. So you can't collect those like terms. They're not like terms. This here is my final answer, x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, just to go through another couple of examples like that. Here, something very similar, just different numbers. It's exactly the same process. x times by x is x squared. x times by 5, positive 5x. 4 times by x, positive 4x, and 4 times by 5, that is 20. Now, again, select these like terms, that is x squared plus 9x plus 20. Now, to make it a little bit more difficult, this time I've made a change with a negative in there. Whenever we see negatives, we know we have to be very, very careful. It is still, though, exactly the same process. So x times by x is x squared. x times by minus 2, this time we get by minus 2, and it'll give me minus 2x. 6 times by x will be positive 6x, and 6 times by minus 2 will be minus 12. Now, when we're collecting these like terms, we have to be careful. This is minus 2x, add 6x. So, minus 2 add 6, that'll be x squared plus 4x. Minus 2 add 6 is 4, minus 12. That is our final answer with the like terms collected. Here, slightly, difficult, slightly more difficult again, we have two negatives. So here, same process, x times by x, x squared, x times by minus 3, minus 3x, minus 7 times by x is minus 7x, so minus 7 times by minus 3 will this time be my positive 21, because a negative times by negative will give me a positive. Collecting the like terms here, that's x squared minus 3, take away 7, that's minus 10x plus 21. Now this time, I'm going to incorporate a number here in front of the x. This is 2x this time. Okay, This is a coefficient. This is called the number in front of x. The coefficient of x this time is 2, not 1. But still, same process. 2x times by x. This time is going to be 2x squared. 2x times by 4 will be positive 8x. 3 times by x, positive 3x. 3 times by 4, positive 12. And as you're aware, we have to collect the like terms. That is 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. Here, this time, two coefficients here, which are 1 and a negative. Much more difficult but still the exact same process. 4x times by 3x is 
12x squared. 4x times by minus 2 is minus 8x. 5 times by 3x is positive 15x. 5 times by minus 2 is minus 10. Collecting like terms, we get 12x squared plus 16, 7x and minus 10. Now these look slightly different. They look slightly different, but they are still expanding brackets. I'm um, sorry, expanding quadratics. Now, this doesn't mean x squared. 2 squared. What this means is x plus 2 multiplied by itself x plus 2. And again here we mean the exact same thing 2x plus 3 multiplied by 2x plus 3. So what we will get here x times by x, x squared, x times by 2 positive 2x, 2 times by x, positive 2x, 2 times by 2, positive 4. Collect the like terms, x squared plus 4x plus 4. And here, 2x times by 2x is 4x squared, 2x times by 3, positive 6x. 3 times by 2x again is positive 6x, 3 times by 3. 9, collect the like terms, 4x squared plus 12x plus 9.